Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn about ahead of time compilation. We'll learn about what is AOT, how is it important, why is it important and also how Angular runs and compiles our code. This is part of the background process that we should be aware and if you are planning to attend any interview on Angular in future or in near future, please make sure they will go. They are going to ask you questions about this to know your understanding. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back friends. My name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge on modern web technology stack mainly on Angular, Node, React, Express and MongoDB. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, a lot of you have been building your own projects, trying out examples, asking me questions, doubts. Please continue to do so. I will try and help you as much as I can. At the same time, if you are new on this series, please don't hesitate to ask me. We are here to learn together. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials to you. So please support me by subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. Thank you in advance. This is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial series where we have now around close to 75 tutorials which has detailed code examples and explanations. If you really want to learn and master Angular 9, this is the playlist for you. So make sure you check it out. The link is in the description box below. All right, so we are focusing on a mini series called Angular 9 build and deployment process. Uh, in the previous episode, we started with the basic introduction of Angular, the build and deployment concept and the process itself. Today, we are going to learn about ahead of time compilation in Angular. And in next episode, we'll start actual building our application, which is ready to deploy. All right, so quick notes on some AOT. So AOT stands for ahead of time compilation. What does it mean? So for any, if you know, if you have been following in all of these Angular tutorials that we are posting, you will see that all of these are Angular specific, right? So when we say Angular specific, which means the code is written in TypeScript, there are components, there are pipes, there are directives, there are services, metadata, all of this is understood by Angular, but it, it is not understood by browsers, right? So that's why it needs to be converted into a code which the browsers can understand which corresponds to JavaScript or ES6 basically, right? So that is exactly what AOT means, right? It means ahead of time compilation, which means our Angular application needs to be compiled. The code needs to be converted into a browser, a specific browser into a code which browser can understand and then check for syntax template errors and finally run it in the browser. Right. So this whole process is called as ahead of time compilation. Earlier, it used to be called JIT. I'll talk about that also. Let's first talk some about about some of the advantages. Some of the advantages are that it, it results in faster rendering, right? Because it's with AOT, the browser downloads a pre compiled version of the application, right? And the browser loads executable code so it can render the application immediately without waiting to compile the first app. It results in fewer async request, which means the compiler inline, the compilers inline external HTML templates, right? And CSS style sheets. So all of these um, are loaded inside the bundle of the compiled package. So it definitely results in lesser number of uh, Ajax request, which is asynchronous request, basically. The size itself reduces a lot. And if you see Angular 6 onwards, they have been trying to compress the size of the build itself. So we'll see that the smaller size of Angular framework itself is um, getting built. We'll detect the template errors earlier. So if you have some kind of bindings which are missing, some kind of temp uh, template uh, attributes missing or binding errors, you'll be caught early in the process rather than at the end. For example, if you don't, I'll, I'll give you some examples of this once we go through this notes. Um, 
So AOT compiles HTML templates and components into JavaScript files long before they are served to the client, which means with no templates to read and no risky client-side HTML, it becomes fewer uh, opportunities for injection attacks, which is increasing security basically, right? So that those are some of the key advantages that you can talk about AOT or you can understand about it. Now, Angular has two different two ways of compiling your application, right? Earlier, like I said, just in time compiler. Now this used to be the default one till Angular 8. So remember that if you are working with any application or CLI generated app in Angular 9 onwards, it is uh, default using ahead of time which compiles your app in the browser at runtime, right? So just in time was like you compile the code when it is asked directly in the browser at runtime. That used to be the just in time. But ahead of time is which compiles your app and libraries at build time, right? So when we run a command uh, to build, it will get out all the JS scripts that is called ahead of time. Now, how does AOT compile the code, right? When we say ahead of time compilation, what happens exactly? So whenever we say ahead of time compilation, it is done in three three parts. The first part is code analysis, right? In this part, what happens? It does not do anything. It will just collect the metadata and analyze that. So it will not give you any error at this stage, right? It, it, will, it does not attempt any interpretation. It will only collect the details of the metadata. And what is metadata here? Metadata is nothing but the at the rate component, at the rate injectable, at the rate pipe. It will collect all the metadata information and it will analyze it, right? And here it will try and get you some of the basic things like expression syntaxes, there are no arrow functions, there is no code uh, folding, etc. In the second phase is where it will try and generate the code into ES6. See, the first phase is the TypeScript compiler, right? Which means it will try and take the TypeScript code, analyze it, build a collector. The second phase is where it will try and convert the TypeScript code into ES6, right? And this is where you start seeing errors. Like, for example, if it gave any error in generating a class, if there was a mistake in function, if there was an error in metadata rewriting, non-null assertions, etc. So this is a fair where it will try and convert the code and that's where it will give you errors if it's not able to convert some code from TypeScript to JavaScript. The third phase is again optional, but since templates are optional, you can either do it inline template or you can do it as an external HTML template. So HTML, so in the phase three, the HTML template type checking is done where you will check for template related errors like data binding, event binding, two-way data binding, etc. So these are caught early. So you don't have to wait till all the way till uh, a link is clicked and then you know that the method is not defined, right? So this, this, because of this, there is a lot of things that get saved at the build itself rather than going into the application and then figuring it out, right? So those are the three major phases of AOT that happens. Again, like I said, you don't do it, you don't use it in the code. Earlier, we used to pass as a parameter now we don't even have to pass its default in Angular 9 onwards, right? So that is an, a quick overview for you to understand what AOT is. Um, I hope it's clear. Uh, I'll, I would love to make some notes for you. So uh, that way you, if you have any doubts, it would be clear. Uh, ask me if you have any doubts, I would be happy to answer your queries. All right, so we are talking about ahead of time compilation. AOT stands for ahead of time compilation, right? Why do we need that? Why do we need it? But simply because Angular code is in TypeScript and the metadata, metadata like at the rate component, injectable pipes, etc are not understood not understood by our browsers right so we need to convert it into to convert into 
browser understandable code okay now the benefits uh, there are there are two angular has two ways to compile has two ways to compile right one is just in time and one is ahead of time right now till angular 8 angular 8 this used to be default and from angular 9 onwards A aot is uh, default okay there are a lot of benefits um, benefits of aot okay so it helps in faster rendering since uh, the build size is small increases security right uh, prevents prevents injection attacks etc right so yeah so these are some of the benefits of aot that you want to see that's for today on aot in the next episode we'll talk and we'll start building actually our angular applications all right so i'll see you in the next episode stay tuned um, if you have any doubts drop in the comment section thank you so much